Last 10 minutes, the Sarasota School Board voted not to comply with upcoming changes to federal Title IX guidelines. Supporters say it protects LGBTQ plus students, but the state of Florida is suing, vowing to not comply. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio is live outside the meeting. And Miguel, public comments went on for hours. And Carolina, the majority of them took aim against Bridget Ziegler again. This time, this was over her resolution to not comply with Title IX changes. That vote went down just minutes ago, and there were some heated arguments between Tom Edwards and some of the school board members. Without compliance, Sarasota schools in the state could lose out on federal funding, something some board members criticized tonight. Keep politics out of schools. 73 people do your job signed up to speak and reject this reckless and pointless resolution. The majority over one topic that has nothing to do with student achievement. Dividing the packed Sarasota County School Board room. My name is Alex. Ninth grader Alex Lieberman was the first to talk. I kindly request that you do not second this motion. Supporting the changes to federal Title IX guidelines. I was happy when I found out because I don't really feel like that's something that we need. Title IX forbids discrimination based on sex and education. Education, but the federal government wants to expand it to include discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. We will fight back. Governor Ron DeSantis says Florida will not comply. We are not going to let Joe Biden try to inject men into women's activities. We are not going to let Joe Biden undermine the rights of parents. Board member Bridget Ziegler vows to uphold the state's challenge. She says the changes are an attack on women and girls. And we will fight back. The minority who spoke supported her resolution. I expect you to do the right thing. Protect my kids. Opponents have cited upholding state laws like using bathrooms based on sex at birth. But the majority in the room argue that Title IX changes protect all students. When the school district says they serve every student every day, they don't mean queer and trans students. And that's a heartbreaking reality. Right now, the changes to Title IX do not address sports in schools. The federal government promises to head on that issue later on. But Ziegler and a number of other speakers say they're concerned this would allow transgender athletes to compete in women's sports. Reporting live in Sarasota, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. Florida is joining a number of other states like Tennessee and West Virginia suing the Biden administration. The Title IX changes take effect in August.